Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today on this video, I'm going to show you how to use the PlayStation app to use remote play on your iPhone so you can play your PlayStation 5 games pretty much anywhere you go. And the first thing we want to do is download the two applications. So locate the App Store on your iPhone, go to search in the bottom right, and type in PlayStation app. And get these two applications you want PlayStation app and PS Remote Play. Download both of those and sign in with your email address and password. You'll need the PlayStation app for uh, Remote Play and PS Remote Play. So once we have those two downloaded, we just need to use this one application right here. So open this up and then sign in. And then you can easily launch games from it and you can see everything. So I have Elden Ring open up here and I'm gonna go back to the main screen. So you'll be on this page right here. You wanna press this button right here, then locate a game. So I had Elden Ring up, so let's press this. And it'll give you two options, play on console or play with uh, remote play. Go to play with remote play, and make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, so you can easily find your uh, PlayStation 5 and link it for the first time. Once your PlayStation 5 is linked to the remote play application, uh, you can just use the mobile data, and you could be, uh, in your backyard or you could be in a car traveling around and I believe you should be able to just use that your internet connection that way but the first time just connecting with Wi-Fi it's going to link it automatically otherwise you're going to have to type in a code on your phone that's going to display on your TV and it might take like three or four minutes just to get everything set up it's a little bit longer process it seems like or maybe just like 30 seconds it's not terribly long but the best results are going to be on Wi-Fi so here is Elden Ring, so I'm going to tilt my screen, and you can see all the on-screen controls. So I have a touchpad over here, L2, L1, the R1, R2, and the other face buttons. And they got the PlayStation button in the middle, if I want to go back to the home screen, it looks like the touchpad is up here too, you can see. And then I got my microphone right here, if I want to mute my microphone, then if I want to uh, disconnect, just go to disconnect, and you can put your PlayStation 5 into the rest mode. Just click right there. So let's go to cancel. Go back to the game. Now, one of the frustrating things about using remote play is the latency. If you look, when I move around, it doesn't seem like the latency is terrible. So if you got a good internet connection and your PlayStation 5 is hardwired, you're not gonna have a terrible experience with this. So just make sure it's connected directly to your router and have a good internet connection with your PlayStation 5 and you'll probably have a good experience. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.